three alleged crime scenes leading to police shooting 31-year-old Dylan Trejo Monday. We thought he'd been doing, uh, we'd be, he'd been doing good, but I heard after the fact from his son's mother last night that we think, man, that he'd started using drugs again. And Trejo's uncle, Bart Lewis, telling us on the phone he may have been depressed. I know you guys probably hear this a lot, but, you know, he's not a bad kid. Police say it started with a report Monday morning from Trejo's ex-girlfriend saying that he had her vehicle, was using drugs, and possibly had a handgun. Around 2.40 Monday afternoon, police say Trejo robbed this Bucky's gas station near 24th and Martha, then drove to 50th and Farnham in the alleged stolen car, stole a truck parked in the street, and kept going. Officers were made aware of that. The pickup truck was spotted, and officers called in Able One. Around 4.30, Trejo was eventually tracked down near 26th and Rees. OPD says Trejo tried to run, then suddenly turned toward an officer, reached into his waistband, and raised his arm up as if he had a weapon in his hand. The officer fired, hitting Trejo at least one time. I seen the ambulance pull up and take the gurney or whatever it was over there to get him. Neighbors like John Maggard say it's unfortunate police had to take action, but Trejo's family understands. I know from my standpoint, my family, we, we don't blame the officers. It's, you know, it's putting them in a horrible situation. And police say Trejo is in stable condition as charges are pending. We're also told the short pursuit and shooting were captured on the involved shoot involved officer's body camera. We're also told that nine civilian witnesses and 11 police officers were interviewed in this investigation.